Tanya Miller from Junk Monkey Paint Company. We've got some behind the scenes good jokes going on here, okay? <laughs> Welcome in. <laughs> this is a DIY shop today. Yesterday and today, right? I don't know. I'm just all about crocking, okay? I want to get a shirt that says, what the croc? So today I came up with something like, what was it? I, I called this um, video, I think I said, crocking on sunshine because I don't know about you, but can you see that big ball in the sky out there? We are finally getting some sunshine, okay? So... It's awesome! And Bob, yes, Kate says Bob is as well. Bob is sitting over here. Let me see if I can turn. Bob's on the bike. Can you see Bob right back here? This is Bob right here. He's still got the bag awesome over his head. Hair. What's that? Some awesome back hair. Yes, he's got awesome back hair, my husband says. Linda, Linda, Linda Matt is on here from good old Cali today. Elma, how are you from Texas? Texas in the house. So anyway, anybody else out there getting sunshine today? I'm super stoked because we got some sunshine and I love it. So I was uh, in the bathroom earlier. There's trees next to our bathroom here at the shop. So when there's birds in the trees, you can hear it if you go to the restroom, okay? So it's very serene in our bathroom. Anyway, just thought I'd tell you that. But I was in the bathroom earlier looking in the mirror, get myself ready, and the birds were chirping, okay? And um, I'm like, Kate, you gotta come hear the birds, seriously. So then me and Kate hung out in the bathroom so we could hear the birds through the wall. Um, but anyway, it is absolutely gorgeous out there, right? And so for a moment, I could stand there and just kind of be like, I'm going to pretend that it's springtime. It is springtime. The birds are chirping. There's even water running down the roads here. So we're, we have got like one day in a million here, okay? So we are going to suck it all up. Hey, Linda's laughing, LOL. Crazy fog here in western Michigan. Oh, man. Come over here, Patty. I'm crocking it up. And um, anyway, gets extra, I always get extra energy on sunshiny days, right? So good old Bob, you know, we had a miracle delivered to us. Bob's over here. His hair, man, he needed some sunshine. So anyway, yesterday you said he needed sunshine. And you know what? Lo and behold, we got it today, all right? So that's what's going down. Aw, uh, thanks, Jackie. I promise you will be hooked if you try the paint. It's so fun, okay? And I've got a quick project coming up here in just a second. Let me turn on my glue gun, okay? My glue gun and what get it ready here. What is going on? What's going on? What is going on? Can you hear Matt in the background? He's a chef, so anytime I break out things to cook, he's got to be around being like referee here, okay? Because you well, know what it, I'm it, saying, I all right? I don't know. There's, there's, there's what? You don't need glue guns or and drills to do cooking. I do. <laughs> and and fake, fake holly stuff. Listen, like, we're doing fun stuff here, okay? You leave, you leave me alone. Me when you walk in here. Out, listen, it's eight degrees in South Dakota. Now that's scary. That's what's scary. All right. So anyway, we're gonna crock around the clock. All right. Crock no around more, the clock. No more crock puns. <laughs> I can't help it. So anyway, I gotta tell you, I got my fake meat. Okay. Yes. Okay. And this is where it all went south for me and Matt because as a chef, he's like, "What are you doing?" So I'm here in my shop. I want something healthy for supper, and you know what? I'm okay with. I don't know about you. But I do like the meatless burgers. I love my meat. Let me just tell you that too. But um, I like there's days that I just want to eat veg and stuff, right? So I, anyway, I found this brand called Light Life, and it's just basically like, you know, a fake meat, right? So anyway, we got that in the pot. Next up, I should put in some other things. By the way, we're making, we're making chili. Patty says, you guys are sun drunk. Oh, sun drunk. Oh, I never heard of that before. That's good stuff. That's funny. It might be true though, man. I'm a sun worshiper. All right, so we got our meat in the pot, okay? Next up, I'm gonna throw in like the veggie kind of stuff, okay? So I, I found a recipe online. All right, we never know if it works out or not until the very end. But I found a recipe online that called for some whole peeled tomatoes. So we're just gonna throw those in. I am like that person. I do own the dump, the dump um, dish, you know, the dump desserts. So I do like all that stuff. Then I've got some diced tomatoes. These were good because they had the green chilies in it, okay? So that meant I did not have to buy them separately and I did not have to cut them. So we're gonna go with the, the can of kind, all right? Next up, I found, oh, and let's do some corn because much like I like color, Let's just add some corn into my chili. Matt's shaking his head over to the side. The chili gods are not happy. <laughs> Listen, we were having this conversation. He tells me that chili, did you know in the very beginning, was... Created by the chili queens. The chili queens. Of San Antonio. That does not even involve... Would you tell me? I'm like, no, that's no not possible. Beans. No beans. No. Okay. Do you like beans or no beans in your chili? Tell me that, okay? All this, all this extra stuff does so, not go in there. I've got chili beans, kidney beans with, you know, mild chili sauce. Because the way I look at it is if the can of beans comes with some seasoning, that's a little bit less that I got to deal with because I am not a cook. 
Okay, so anyway, we're gonna go with that. Let's see how much space we got in the pot because that's pretty much, I'm gonna be honest with you, how I decide what else goes in. All right, let's see here. <laughs> we have got, why are you laughing? Because I'm laughing. We're gonna put the extra can of chili beans in because we can. All right. I've been telling him he needs to cook on here for me. What do you guys think? Should Matt do some cooking on here? I mean, he's actually a trained cook. Me, this is me. The first, the first date we went on, you know what he cooked me? And he cooked me, okay? He, he cooked me a meal, okay? And it was homemade lasagna. And it had, I remember you had some Alfredo wonderful pasta like I'd never had before. He made a fresh salad. And at that point, you need to leave the room. I'm like, I'm keeping him. <laughs> he can't know that though. So anyway, yeah, we got our beans in and uh, let's see. Oh, some black beans too. Let's add some beans, Patty. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. Too funny. All right, so let's go ahead and add all that stuff in here. Oh man, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And I'm gonna add some green peppers too because I do love my green peppers. Love my green peppers. So who agrees that when it gets to be winter that you should totally make chili? I love my chili. Chili and cornbread. Well, chili and cornbread, yes. Oh. So I was thinking that when this is all cooked down, it's gonna be so good in the pot, then I take it out, spoon it out in bowls, and then I put um, sour cream on it and a little bit of shredded like cheddar cheese. Did you yeah? Put, did you put yeah, yeah, yeah. In it? Not yet, we're getting there. I'm talking, babe. All right, he's dying for me to put this in here. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put my garlic in, and then what else? So hopefully I'm inspiring you to have some chili, okay? And so then we had this conversation. I found a recipe online that said it did not include cumin. I'm sorry, yeah, it did not include cumin. And my husband's like, okay, what kind of chili recipe does not call for cumin? So I had to go to the store and get some cumin, okay? It's not, it's not. Here's chili powder. Let's go ahead and put some cumin in it. Which what, he did what, open it and he's hey, like, wait, 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 smell wait, wait, it. I'm wait, like, wait. it smells like chili. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. Thank there, you, babe. There, 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 there. See, there's Mr. Wilson makes an appearance. It's, it's a little bit more. Me. Is it's this it's enough it's cumin? Do you think this is enough cumin? A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more and stir it up well. This is me in the kitchen, okay? Welcome to our house. All right, all right, all right. Me all right. going, is this enough? Is this enough? Is this enough? That's this pepper I'm putting it in right now. Yes. Is that good? All right. Oh, the salt. I left it out in the front counter. Do you want to get me some salt? I'll mix it up. Yes, I'm gonna mix it up right now, all right? Yeah, Dawn says she does her chili. She bakes cornbread mat on the top of hers and put a little bit of cinnamon in it. Yeah. Oh my God, don't get Matt started. Listen, Matt- Cinnamon rolls dipped in chili. Tell cinnamon me about rolls. the cinnamon rolls dipped in chili. Cinnamon rolls dipped in chili. I just don't to. know about this, people. When I grew up uh, and went to grade school, we actually, our school actually had a cafeteria and it had a bunch of, uh, because we lived up in the mountains, had a bunch of uh, backwoods grandmas <laughs> yeah. that did all the cooking. Yeah. And they would make chili, and then they would make homemade cinnamon. Everything was homemade. There was okay. no like processed anything in the school lunch, and yeah. I still talk about it to this day. And yeah. uh, you can that in. they would make chili, and then they would uh, do homemade cinnamon rolls. Yeah. And the cinnamon rolls dipped in the chili was like the best thing ever. Well, Patty says really she would try it. And yeah. then I had somebody else not, say that they would totally try it as well because yeah, they said, it's, you it's, have me at cinnamon. It's pretty, uh, you wouldn't think it goes together, but it, it actually, the tomato and the chili with the uh, sweetness of the uh, Ooh, cinnamon roll yeah. and the cinnamon actually all works together. And all those spices actually get really well together. See, you know how the spices work together, me not so much, okay? Yeah, that's what scares me when you go and grab recipes Randomly, off the offline? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's like that. yes i am harley it's it's like developing <gasps> look at this patty's put chocolate in her chili what do you think of that yeah. would you do that unsweetened would you do unsweetened is that what you're talking about like a mole sauce i don't know she just said chocolate in her well chili. i mean in in mexico they they have unsweetened sauces called mole sauces really which are chocolate sauces nice you know one thing i can't get over though oh uh is it coley or Kali? how do you all pronounce your name is it coley hopefully c-o-l-y coley mm -hmm. Probably the other way I'm not saying it because I'm a terrible name. She says that her school lunches had homemade chili and cinnamon rolls. There you go. Yeah. There you go. 
Beverly says she grew up the same thing at her school. Maybe it was a U.S. thing. Remember, I grew up in Canada, right? right? Plus, I did not eat lunch at school. We had to walk home and then walk back, okay? And then I begged my parents for a ride. <clears throat> anyway, let me plug my chili in so we can go ahead and get started. But look how good that looks, guys. Seriously. Yummy! Right? Totally, yeah. totally yummy. We but shall no, see. Maybe it was. What do you mean we shall see? It's got all the good stuff that I It does. Like. It does. No doubt. No doubt. But you know me. I, I like... I roll, uh, I roll my eyes at stuff like that. You see what happens? You see what happens. Oh, rhymes with holy. Coley. Pretty. I like that. Uh, very, very nice. Lee got some chili on today. So anyway, took care of some supper, right? So today in the shop, I was getting ready tomorrow. You guys know I do a coaching create club behind the scenes. In fact, I'll show you what I did in a little bit. But let me just um, break out my project here in just a second. Um, but this morning, we were working on uh, finishing up for the tutorial for in the group tomorrow. And I'll show you what it came out like because it's no more brownie brownie. So, all right, let me sweep away the space here. Let's see here. And get started. Let me, let me just tell you this first. Let me just, before I put my camera down. By the way, who thinks these are adorable? Found these. My husband's looking at me from behind the camera and I'm going, oh my God, seriously. I can't take you for serious when you cook with monkey spoons. Found these monkey spoons at the dollar store for $2, okay? The monkey comes apart. Okay, listen, just like I like have fun creating, I want to have fun creating food, right? Is there something wrong with that? Who else would totally have monkey spoons? So anyway, it all breaks apart. What's wrong with you? Those, they're going to be lost, and like some of them are going to be lost in the rest of the week. What do you mean, the monkey spoons? Because, yeah, because you got to snap them all you together. You do, you have to snap them all together, there's okay? No, there's no way to keep them together and then snap them together. Well, I'll just make sure I snap them all together. It says every person that's ever bought, ever bought Tupperware and then lost lids and they no longer fit together. I'll take right? care of it. Yeah, right? And, and as, as she goes to move on. What? Um, they split is, apart? Yeah, they're all over the table like, like this, so. Yes, Jackie, we have a son. He, his name is Riley, and he's 17. He'll be soon 18. I can't believe that. So anyway, you guys know that I'm a Wally World girl, right? And I think I showed you on here before that I found these in the craft section, and they were done in a white, okay, a white wash. And I actually found these recently I wanted to share with you guys. This is like the most simple project ever. Hey, Don loves them, okay? So yeah, Matt might not like my monkey spoons, but Don likes them, so you're okay. Hey, Gailey, guy. you're a practical guy. When it comes to work, yeah, that's work. Yeah, He's that's the practical side, I'm the creative no, side no, no, of the no, brain, no. okay? When it comes to cooking, that's, yes. you know. Yes. See, Melody says they had bean chowder, chili, and cinnamon rolls in our schools when I was growing. It was amazing. See, people, apparently, you know what? I must have missed out. I, you did. I went home and had moose, okay? We had moose oh. and potatoes. <laughs> Cod and, <laughs> and lots of codfish because my dad was a fisherman, okay? Yeah, I didn't get those school lunches, all right? So I, I just, I missed out on that. So I'm going to have to live through you guys. So maybe you'll have to make real good, your good chili and cinnamon rolls one day. So found these, $2.54, okay? That's all, $2.54. Here's what they look like. Um, they say on them, pallet planks, barn wood style, great for rustic frames of pallet signs, okay? So this is the easiest, cheapest, um... Honestly, gift ever. I'm gonna show you what I do. So they come in white, but I also like this, like almost like no, Patty, it's moose as an M O O S E. I never saw a deer until I moved to Pennsylvania. Okay, just say it. So anyway, and yesterday we had moose a conversation. Or moose. Yes. Moose, like in the animal, or chocolate moose. Yes. No, we're talking animal. We're talking animal. <laughs> We'll talk more about that one day here. So anyway, there you go. So we've got gorgeous pallet style wood, all right? Now watch what I do. Found them at Walmart, yep, absolutely. Man, I gotta tell you, Matt's been talking about this cinnamon roll chili for a long time and I, I didn't believe him. Didn't believe him, but I believe you guys. Don't believe my own husband, but there's I so many. I even made it one day. There's had, so many had, of you on here that I'm really beginning to think that there is something to I it. I even had homemade cinnamon rolls with chili. Yeah. And she didn't even try it. Yeah, because it's like... Yeah, she wouldn't try it. Did you turn off my glue gun? I didn't turn off your glue gun. No, I think it's already heated. Oh, it'll so keep going. Oh, there's uh, He probably Gaylene. turned off my glue gun. Yeah, Gaylene's on she here. She had Marmite and, uh, and uh, lettuce sandwiches. What is Marmite? Oh, that's that black that, stuff, that, isn't it? That's the brewer's yeast extract. Let me... Uh, that they have in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. Vegemite or Marmite, depending See, on your brand. See, we all have different things depending on where we grew up, right? I had Vegemite growing up. Believe it or not, we had a lot here. You guys see these? I'll turn them backwards so you can see them. 
There you go. What did you just say? I missed something you just said. We had Vegemite a lot in this area growing up because they had it because of the depression. Really? It was like um, cracker soup, coffee soup. Yes. I love you coffee soup. You talked about that. You yeah. do. You do. Yeah. Which I can totally go with, you know, well, coffee cracker soup. That sounds good. Yeah. All right. Jackie says I'm crazy. Make Matt go make you cinnamon rolls for supper. All right. <laughs> Patty says, not in Michigan, no chili and cinnamon rolls. See, I'm telling you, it depends on where you grow up. Guys, I found these also at Walmart. So if you want to make some of these signs, I just want to show you guys on here that Walmart's now stocking these and they have different words. So like there's family, there's home. I think there was a couple more there as well. And they're only $4 and change. Linda's never heard of Vegemite. So listen, okay, I'm going to glue these on. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make the sign. Okay, $2.54, $4 and change handy dandy glue gun it's going to look backwards to you guys right now only because of the fact that it's not mirrored because i'm in selfie mode so i'm kind of pointing the camera back at myself but i promise i'm putting it on the right way somebody's asking how was your stuff yesterday oh it was good me and kate were talking about that today i mean i'm trying recipes this week that i'm finding online that i'm more of clean eating things that i can just kind of throw in the pot that are healthy. I love the taste of things together. It was actually good. I mean, was, is it something I'd make again? Yeah, but I'm in no rush. It's okay. It was uh, red peppers and what we put in it? Red peppers, zucchini, sweet potatoes, uh, sweet potatoes and then we did the, the Italian spices and garlic. So it was good. If you can imagine, it's pretty clean eating. It was yum. We ate it all. <laughs> and then Carrie came in the afternoon and we were doing some uh, packing and shipping of stuff and we ate Eat it all. I didn't get any. You did not get any. Nope. 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 Snooze you lose. Snooze you lose. Matt hasn't been feeling well. He hasn't. So, poor guy. Oh, I think my battery's going dead. Let's see here. So, all I'm doing is putting a little bit of glue on these pieces, guys. I don't even have to do anything with them. Okay? Don't even have to do anything with them. And I'll show you how I'll bring it together here and give you an idea. But if you want to give yeah. a, you know, a gift to somebody to go with a card, like something small, it doesn't have to be a whole lot, right? Kathy, Kathy said no chicken, chicken fried steak in Michigan. Well, Kathy, really? you got the ne best next thing. Go over to Frank and Mia. Yeah. And go to the Bavarian Inn or Xander's. Yeah. And have some schnitzel. It's basically the same schnitzel. thing. Schnitzel. Have some schnitzel. It's basically schnitzel. the same thing. All right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, not enough glue. Glue's not hot enough. All right, give me um, give me the base of that drill, would you? See, this is what's really cool about these. Let me just show you. I was showing you guys on here yesterday. Uh, Linda says, sorry you're feeling under the weather. So it's when you do the Ryobi, year, <laughs> <laughs> it's this time of the year. Did you hear it's that? It's always this time Matt's of Matt's got the man flu. All right, so what we do is we take off the base. You notice how he runs away when I say that? Do you see how he took off, how fast he took off? So it's just like the bases that you use for your drills and stuff. You just use it for the glue gun and it gets up so hot, it'll come on red. It'll warm up in just a second. So I'll get the rest of it prepared. Let's see. Hey, Shirley Porterfield, how are you? Yes, we got the chili going. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm not sure where Shirley's from. Let's see here. Oh, she's from Texas. Oh, well, I have Porterfield in my You do? No, 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 no. I think Shirley's not from Texas. I messed that up. Yeah, you do, Donna. It's awesome. Hey, Margie, how are ya? So then you can put whatever you want, okay? So I like the look of the, let me get this one. So I like the look of the plank with the whitewashed words on it. And then I like the idea of putting some red with it. What do you guys think? Yeah? So remember, you could do whatever style you want. So you could do something that's really like for Valentine's Day. You could put burlap. Nobody say anything back there. My husband's gonna tell me no more burlap. But anyway, you can put a burlap flower on there. That would be absolutely beautiful. So all you need to do is, I also get my wire cutters at Walmart while I'm there. And I'm gonna just go ahead and snip off really quick. Like literally, like that. And then all I've gotta do is I'm gonna pull that base of that floral up, that greenery a little bit. Put some glue behind. And then... You get the glue, glue. You get the glue guns at Home Depot. Yeah. Ryobi guns. Yes. Yep. All right. Let's stick that back so it looks kind of cool like that. Oh, I like that. I could have even put the. Um, that's pretty. I could have even put the um, leaf down behind it if I wanted to. But look, how cute is that, right? 
So think about the word, think about the flower. You could put a daisy on there if you want to do a little more springtime if you want. I do have to remind myself that we, we are still in winter and I'm making some gifts for people. So I really like that. So let me glue this one on again because the glue just cooled down too fast. Like I say, I have found glue sticks that are made by the same people that makes Gorilla Glue and they are awesome. <laughs> what are you laughing at? The alien's giving me some, uh, uh -oh. what we call granny magic up here in the mountains. Oh, really? What you telling me? Put some mm -hmm. Vicks on the bottom of your feet. We just do that. Oh, yeah, before. yeah, yeah. Did that you ever hear the onion? Yes, yeah, the onion, onion right? Yeah. The onion, yes. You ever heard garlic. of that, cake? Actually, if you could get garlic, that was better. I, I love garlic. Either. What's that? I haven't tried either. You haven't tried either? Yeah. On my feet. Trust me, trust me. It's, um, the smell. <laughs> Keeps the vampires tends. away. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so. That's what. That's why it's so good for you. Keeps everybody wanting to be away from you, right? Yeah. And so then you succeed at life because you don't get contaminated with germs. It's so easy. Yeah, that's how it works. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> hey, Reddy. Look at that. I am loving this, guys. See, I told you, simplest craft project ever. It's really cool. Walmart's stepping up their game with their craft. So there you go. Wooden plank 254. Got this for four something, which you can put this on anything. There's so many different ideas. Put a flower on it, whatever you want. So which one do you guys like best? Family or home? So easy. So cute. Ta-da! And we are done. Man, I am feeling like I'm feeling like Martha Stewart because not only did oh, I cook today, but don't, don't tell me that. Uh, I'm in crafts today, dang it. Look at that. Martha. What's that? Snoop and Martha. Snoop and Martha. Snoop and Martha. This is Matt and Sonia. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are crocking on sunshine. Oh. <laughs> he loves it when I say things like that. You know what? You're killing me. That's why he loves me. me. You're going to do it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> what? February 1st. Yeah? Anybody you want to hear, I was thinking of a way of doing it, but it came to me. If you guys have any culinary questions, like how to make the perfect, you know, risotto or something like that. What is risotto? Send us a message. <laughs> Send us a message on any kind of culinary um, questions you might have, whether anything, and uh, I might cook it and answer it for you on the first. Yes. I think that Matt should come on and do a cooking segment. You know, just Matt's an award-winning chef, okay? And yes. so I tell him, yeah. don't keep that all to yourself, all right? <laughs> so, you know what? Share the love because, you know, we, I have a wonderful marriage with him because, you know, he likes to make food. He likes to make it, and I like to eat it. Yeah. So it's a marriage made in heaven, right? So yeah, just send send a message to Junk Monkey Paint at Gmail. Yeah. On any questions you might have, and then give uh, give me some ideas. Well, yeah, or, I, I'll answer the below. questions they have, and uh, well, for the next couple of weeks. I well, maybe we'll put up a post. Maybe we'll put up a post, yeah. and we'll say what should Matt cook, or what kind of cooking questions well, do you have? Yeah, what questions you have, and I'll I help like you it. with techniques and stuff. Thanks, guys. Because the crock pot thing on Facebook's killing me. Not, not you guys, not you. You don't care. want to rock crocking. around the crock? Everybody's crocking. Yes, what a crock. And it's so much easier just to cook it fresh. All right, we'll do that. We'll get a hot plate, bring it here to the shop, okay? And we'll have some fun with it. Sound good? So I'll show you what I was working on today. Make cinnamon rolls. Uh, there you go. No, bring I'm out not, the oven. I'm not. <laughs> we're moving to the shop, babe. We're moving to the yeah, shop. We're <laughs> So I'll show you real fast what it's like outside. When I say how nice it is, guys, seriously. Male, make cinnamon rolls versus male and female cinnamon rolls. Look, look. I mean, other than that little, did I see a pile of snow right there, right here, right here? Yeah, there ain't nothing. I look seriously dry as a bone. I love it. All right. So now I do hear that there is a storm coming. Um, over the next 24 hours or so. So we will see if the weather ban is true with that or not. But the deal is I am pretending that it is spring. Okay, my friends. So this is what I've been working on today. Let me show you here. So this was a brownie frowny table. And for those of you who don't know yet, I actually launched a coach and create club behind the scenes as a private group. And every week on Mondays, I coach people and, and give topics on how to grow your business. And on Fridays, we do paint tutorials. So it's kind of like a place for people who want to learn more paint techniques and also may want to take it from a hobby and actually make some money at, you know, flipping furniture. So it's so fun. It's so easy and so addicting. So anyway, th that was my project today. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at. 
I let's see here somebody said we're in Canada winter just starting <laughs> oh my goodness I'm actually from Canada from Newfoundland so I'm pretty sure winter started three months ago up there for reals yeah for reals all right yes thank you Patty you can have so much fun right if you have brownie frowny stuff all you need is a little bit of paint and a little bit of know-how and you can totally bring it together and make some fun stuff all right, well, I'm going to get out of your hair already. I mean, things are starting to smell. The steam is starting to form on top of my crock pot. And I've got some signs knocked out. I'm going to put some cards with them and probably deliver them to some people on my way home tonight from work. All right, I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a good day. I hope you're crocking on sunshine too. See you later. Bye.